Welcome pre-cal students to class today on this Thursday the uh, 8th. I hope you guys are doing well today. hope you're ready to learn some math. We have uh, a lot to do today, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, please listen carefully. You're responsible for these announcements, so here we go. First of all, there will be a test tomorrow. Please remember I've given you a review sheet to study, plus I have also told you of two homework assignments that you need to study. So please study all of this information well and be ready for your test tomorrow. It probably will take you the class period plus maybe a study hall also or, or maybe some time after school. Um, it's a pretty big test so please understand that and you must take it in one day so you know make sure you're ready for the test okay. Um, nothing to turn in There was no homework given to you yesterday. Incompletes. Let's see what we have here real quick. Pre-count incompletes. Um, let's see here. Okay, just the quiz. Henry, I got your email and that's fine. Um, just want to remind you about the uh, quiz. Um, that needs to be taken, okay? It's a factoring quiz, so please make sure you're ready for that before you take it, okay? Um, today we're going to be taking notes only. Now, we're going to be watching three videos for a total of 84 minutes. Please don't pass out. Please don't be upset. Let me give you some advice on how to handle these videos. Now, usually, I like your videos to run about a total of 70 minutes, okay? But here's what you need to do. It's really, really simple, okay? Sorry for yawning. Okay, here's what you need to do. You could watch about 60 minutes today, maybe, I don't know, 50 minutes there in the class, 10 minutes tonight, something like that, and then take your test tomorrow, and then over the weekend, finish up the videos, because remember, there's nothing on the videos that's going to be on the test tomorrow. So technically, you really don't have to have these three videos watched until Monday, when you come into class Monday. So that's my advice. That'll give you about 30 minutes of homework over the weekend, if you watch about 30 minutes over the weekend. And that's about normal. I've told you guys quite often, you have about 30 minutes of homework. So that's how I would handle this, okay? Um, please watch the three videos in the order that I give them. The first two videos are about finding reference angles and quadrant angles. Now I promise I am not exaggerating. You will need to be able to find reference angles very quickly in order to find trick values without using a calculator. You will also need to know how to find reference angles for when we start solving trick equations. Quadrant angles are not exactly like reference angles reference angles, but they're similar. You will need to understand quadrant angles for future trig values and trig equations also. Okay? So please um, really learn this information. The first two teaching videos are called reference angles and quadrant angles, about a total of 30 minutes altogether. The last video then takes the first two videos and applies this newly found knowledge to finding trig values. So you're going to start using reference angles and quadrant angles to help you find trig values without using a calculator. The third teaching video is called Using Reference Angles to Find Trig Values. It's about 55 minutes, okay? And everyone, now listen, this next announcement is so important. I gave Jacob yesterday three books to pass out to you guys. Actually, I gave him two books. I gave one book to Mrs. Walker to give to Ian, and I gave three books to Jacob. One for Jacob, one for Henry, and one for Harrison. If everyone does not have a book, I need you to stop and email me now, because here's why. I walked in Miss Walker's room, or Miss Carol's room last night, and I found three uh, pre-calculus books on one of the lab desks and I don't want to lose those they're really expensive okay so if you guys if you guys have your calculus pre-calculus books then I want I want to take the um, pre-calculus books and put them back on the shelf so does everyone have a book 
if you don't please email me right away and let me know okay yesterday's quizzes will be graded and enter into sycamore by tomorrow please remember to study well for your test tomorrow that's all for today students please get to work on your three teaching videos have a great day contact me if you have any questions at all